what we're going to be looking at here are the three basic depreciation methods. The straight line method, the sum of years digits method, and the declining balance depreciation method. And our example is going to be based on uh, uh, where we have purchased some equipment here. We have a purchase cost of $304,000, service life of eight years, estimated salvage value of $16,000. And we'll use this example for all three methods here. And I have the date of purchase here at 10-1. Um, October of 20x1. We're not going to be concerned with allocating our costs for the year here. All we're going to look at is a, depreci a depreciating expense for the year here. And uh, we'll just say our fiscal year here is 1, 1 through 1231. That's our fiscal year here. And we'll start with a straight line depreciation method. Well, that's easy enough to calculate our depreciation expense. We just go down to our formula here. It's just our cost minus the salvage value divided by the estimated service life, and that gives us our depreciation charge or expense per year here. So for example, our cost was $304,000 less $16,000 of salvage values eight divided by eight years life, and we're going to get a cost here of $36,000 per year, our depreciation charge. So going up to our depreciation schedule here, I've got years one through eight shown here, and our depreciation expense here is the $36,000 that we calculated, and that's constant for each of the years here. And then to determine our book value here at the end of the year. We start out with a cost here of $304,000 and then for the end of year one here we just tracked out our depreciation expense of $36,000 for the year here from our uh, beginning balance or a $304,000 cost and we come up with our uh, book value here at the end of year one here at $268,000 and we would just continue this uh, throughout our entire uh, each of the years here so for our book value at the end of year two here we just take uh, depreciation expense thirty six thousand for the year beginning balance of two six two hundred sixty eight thousand we come up with two hundred and thirty two thousand dollars now as we depreciate this down here coming into our eighth year here uh, we're going to come up with a book value of sixteen thousand dollars and at the end of the eighth year here and that is our estimated salvage value okay so now now we're going to move on to this sum of years digits method. All right, now for our sum of years digits depreciation method. And looking at our depreciation schedule here, uh, we've got years listed one through eight. We have to determine our depreciation base here. And then we have a remaining life. Well, we start out with eight years and we work it down to one year here. And this is where the sum of years digits comes in here in determining our depreciation fraction here. And that fractional amount here is the remaining life here it would be the numerator amount. And then we have the denominator amount we have to calculate here. And we'll look at that here for the sum of years digits. And just taking our depreciation fraction here that we have times our depreciation base we're going to give us our depreciation expense for the for the year here. So uh, first looking at our depreciation base here, that would be the cost less the salvage value. And for example here our cost was $304,000. Salvage of $16,000 salvage value here gives us $288,000. And that's our depreciation base and that would be uh, what we uh, depreciate here uh, for years one through eight. Now for our a fractional amount here and this is where that sum of years digits comes in here. And that would be the denominator amount here. And we're going to calculate it that here through. It would be the sum of years here. It'd be like in this case we got eight years life so we'd eight plus seven plus six plus five on down to one here. The total sum amount we're going to come up with 36 in this case and that's what we call the sum of years here. Now really what you want to do is just use your simple uh, formula here where you got n which represents the number of years here or the life in this case of eight years here. So you take n times the quantity n plus one and divide that by two here. That's how you determine your sum of years here. Uh, you would just take in this case we have n is eight years here times n plus one of nine. Uh, that total amount here would be 72 divided by the 
quantity of 2 here and it gives you 36 here. So that's your denominator. That's your sum of years here. So now um, just looking at our calculations here. So for year 1 here our depreciation base was 288,000. Our depreciation fraction is just the uh, remaining life here that we start out with 8 years divided by our sum of years digits of 36. That fractional amount here times the depreciation base is going to give you a depreciation expense of $64,000 for the year here. So our book value here at the end of year one here that would be simply we start out with our cost here of three hundred and four thousand dollars subtract out our depreciation expense of sixty four thousand you come up with two hundred and forty thousand dollars now you just proceed on here down in the for each year here uh, going through the same calculations. We have a depreciation, looking at year two here, uh, depreciation base 288,000 and then the remaining life here is seven years. So you take seven in your numerator divided by your sum of years digits of 36, that fractional amount here times your depreciation base uh, gives you your depreciation expense here for year uh, two here of $56,000. Subtracting that here from your beginning balance, you come up with your book value here at the end of the second year here, $184,000. You just proceed on down on that this fashion here, and you're going to come down at the end of uh, the eighth year here, you're going to have $16,000 remaining here, and that's your salvage value. And just to cross-check everything here, if you add up your remaining lives, from 8 to 1 you should get 36 here uh, that would be the sum of your digits and then your depreciation fraction adding that up here 36 divided by your denom uh, sum of years digits 36 so you got a unity there and then your depreciation expense was $288,000 okay next we'll go and look at our declining balance method Okay, now for our declining balance depreciation method, and what we're going to be calculating here is a double declining balance here. So we start out with our depreciation schedule here, uh, where we have to start out with our depreciation base here, and we have to determine it for each of the years 1 through 8 here. And I want to make a point here. Uh, with the declining balance method here, we start out with our depreciation base here. It's going to be our cost here, and let's look at that. Our depreciation base, what we're starting out here with, does not deduct the salvage value in computing our depreciable base here when we start out. And the other methods here, the straight line method and the sum of years digit, we deducted the uh, uh, salvage value. In this case, with the declining balance, we don't. We just we don't start out with by deducting the salvage value here. And so uh, the next thing we have to do is we have to determine our rate here of depreciation here, and that's going to be constants for one through eight here. And knowing our rate of depreciation, we take that times the depreciable base that we have each year here, and and we determine our depreciation expense. So let's go down and look at uh, how we uh, calculate our rate here and our depreciation. Okay, the point we have to make here uh, for a declining balance method here, it utilizes a depreciation rate as a percentage here, which is some multiple of the straight line method. So let's just look at our example here. Our example is going to be for a double declining rate here, or what they would call a 200% rate. For a an eight year asset life. So our straight line depreciation just be one eighth per year here or twelve and a half percent per year would be depreciating our uh, asset at here. And um, what we do in this case for the declining balance, we take some multiple of this straight line rate here. So in this case, we're going to be looking at a double declining rate, or it would be a 200%, or we'll just take two times our 12.5% straight line rate, and we're going to come up with 25% per year. So that's what uh, we're going to use on when we call this declining balance. That here is based on our straight uh, line depreciation and some multiple of it. In this case, we determine it to be 25%. So to calculating our depreciation expense, looking here for year one here, and remember we start out with our cost here. We don't subtract out any salvage value. So we start out with a cost here of 304,000 times our depreciation rate here, 25%. It's going to give us 
um, depreciation expense of $76,000 here for year one. So uh, book value here at the end of uh, the year here, year one, all we do is take a depreciation expense here, $76,000 from our beginning book value here of $304,000. We're going to get our book value here at the end of year one at $228,000. Now, uh, same th just going here, let's just look at year two here. The same thing. We take our uh, beginning book value or the end of year one's book value becomes the beginning book value here at, of year two. Our carrying amount here at 228,000 times our rate uh, depreciation rate here at 25% gives us a depreciation expense here for year two at $57,000. And then book value end of uh, the year two here is simply subtracting 57,000 here from the book value. Beginning book value of 228,000 gives us $171,000. So we just continue on doing that in that fashion here until we get to the end of uh, year eight here and we're going to come up with our book value here at the end of year eight here at thirty thousand four hundred and thirty four dollars. Now our original amount we estimated at sixteen thousand but using this declining balance method here we come up with thirty thousand four hundred and thirty four dollars. Okay so that takes care of our declining balance method here. Just remember here uh, you have to determine your rate of depreciation and that's simply based on whatever the straight line method is our rate is per year and you take some multiple of it. So when they're talking about 200% you would just take two, two times your straight line rate and that would give you in this case a double declining rate here that we looked at at 25%. Okay, and just one last thing here. When we've we're talked about our declining balance and our sum of years digits here, our depreciation expense decreased uh, each year here. And with the uh, straight line method here, we had a constant depreciation expense. Okay, that takes care of our declining balance and our depreciation methods.